this is Suzanne from Hairdo Salon. I am going to show you how to create salon curls at home. I like to start out with a kind of a halo parting here. And I'm going to show you two different techniques, one on each side of the head. I'm going to show you here in just a minute how big these sections are because I like to take big sections of hair. Not only is it fast, but I feel like the curls just look better. So you can see this, this, this is not a little skinny piece of hair. And um, I feel like when you have little small skinny pieces of hair, the, the finished look is just way too busy. I'm going to use a spring curling iron. This one is one and one fourth inch. I'm going to make sure that the the curling iron sits on top of the section of hair. I like to do that for the whole front. The curling iron comes down over the front. So you can see, roll the hair around the curling iron before you close that clamp so you don't get a mark. We're gonna get one full row and then I'm gonna twist that curling iron so the, the curl comes off. Then I'm gonna open to close my clamp, slide down, do another twist, get some new hair. And then when I get to the end, I twist it twice, all right? Um, twisting that twice is going to help those ends kind of collapse in. So the twisting is just like if you were twisting your hair. You stuck your finger in your hair and you twisted it. Your curling iron is just an extension of your finger. <clears throat> the top of the curling iron does need to be at the top of the hair to be able to twist. If you have that curling iron upside down and the base of the curling iron is at the top of the hair, you will not be able to twist it. So you need to make sure that the curling iron is in this position to be able to twist the hair. So again, open and close your clamp, slide it down the hair, and then slide your curling iron out of the bottom. I literally just pull that curling iron straight down at the bottom until the piece of hair comes in. Everything in the front of the hair, of the front of the ear, is going to be curled back away from the face or away from the mirror, whatever's easiest for you to think of. Um, and when we get into the back, we'll switch that up. But everything in the front it goes the same direction. It all goes back. And this makes everything a lot cleaner. Um, I like to do the double twist at the end of the hair because it, it keeps that from being too springy at the ends. So down here in the back, we're going to switch gears. And I'm now going to bring the curling iron at the bottom, at the base of the hair. So all the hair is going to fall over the top of the curling iron. And this is going to give me a lot more uh, volume at the roots. Keep your curling iron nice and close to the head. All right. And twist it. Open clamps, open, 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 slide down, then a double twist and pull out the bottom. <clears throat> Again, um, when you're in the back, the, the sections are kind of more horizontal with the front's more of a diagonal back. I'm going to switch gears when I come over here to this other side now. So I do always start with the curling iron matching the angle of my part. So it's, it's parallel to the part of the hair right here, which is kind of diagonal back. Again, the hair is going to come over the curling iron, so the curling iron is on top of the hair. I'm going to pull that hair back and wrap it around the curling iron. And then once I get that first turn on, I'm going to switch gears and take that whole section of hair and make it parallel to the ground. So I've, I've turned it horizontal so it's parallel to the ground. And from here, everything's the same. Clamp, 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 twist, drop the hair out, clamp, clamp, clamp. Double twist on the end before you pull that hair out. Same thing here, line it up with the hairline. Right now it's diagonal back. So I'm going to wrap the hair over the curling iron. The curling iron's on top. And then clamp it down. Get that my one twist in. And then turn that curling iron so it is parallel to the ground. And sorry that I'm blocking for just a minute. I will fix that in a sec. Um, but at the end, double twist and slide it out of the curling iron. One more going back away from the face with the um, curling iron on the top of that section. This is all going to be hair that's going to be pulled into the front, um, <clears throat> which is why we do that same technique this whole time. All right, so the hair is going to come a little more parallel to the ground. Double twist that end, slide it out. Now we're in the back of the head again, where now this piece is going to go over the top of the curling iron. So the curling iron is going to sit underneath. You're going to Hold that hair up, over direct it up to get volume and keep that curling iron as close to the scalp as you can. And then the same exact thing. The hair is already parallel now in the back because I'm doing horizontal sections. So there's no need to turn my curling iron anymore, just on those front ones. <clears throat> Double twist. And now we're going to get a new parting in the hair. Going to do the exact same thing. Uh, make another little halo parting. When I twist the hair, you need to make sure that you're 
pulling out from the head, not down from the head. If you're twisting the hair and pulling down, most of that hair is probably just going to come off the curling iron and you're going to have to start over. But if you'll pull out from the head, it will stay on the curling iron for you. So if that's something you've run into. That's what's happening there. Also, if you do get bends in the hair when you put the clamp down, it's because the hair is not folded over the round base. If I had that hair just pulled out straight and then I close my clamp on it, it's going to make a mark. So you've got to make sure that that hair is folded over the curling iron before you do close that clamp. All right. So double twist here on the end. And then I do bring my curling iron down to slide the hair out. Okay. The hair is on the... Uh, on the bottom, the curling iron's on the top. Clamp, clamp, clamp. Double twist, slide out. <clears throat> on the other side, now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to um, get the hair in the curling iron, and then we're going to rotate. So this is where we get that twirl in, and then rotate so that we are facing the ground. Our curling iron is, is parallel to the ground. Double twist, pull out. So other than that, that's the only thing that's different on the two sides is, is turning that curling iron to be parallel to the ground once you've got the hair on it. So do it again. One turn, parallel. There we go. All right. Now to the back where we are going to over direct that hair up. Now what I am doing in the back, um, that whole row on the bottom, we did curl to the right. So this one we're going to curl to the left. The one above it's going to go to the right. And surprise, surprise, the one above that is going to go to the left. Um, I do have to change my body position because I need the end of the curling iron to be at the, the, the top where I'm going to be, be twisting. So I have to go back and forth uh, to be able to curl the direction I need to curl. Um, and you, when you kind of play with your own hair, you'll, you'll see how you have to switch arm positions and all that fun stuff. But anyways, so keeping the hair over-directed. The curling iron sits under the hair back here. The hair is drawn up above the curling iron to get more volume. Keep that curling iron close to the scalp. Now here, I can't do circles anymore because I don't have enough hair, so I'm just going to split that last section in half. And that last one was rolled to the left, so I'm going to move my body and come over to the right. So or I'm going to come over to the left so I can curl to the right. Over, direct up. Put that curling iron underneath the hair. Make sure it's wrapped Round the curling iron before you close the clamp. Do one turn, twist it, open close your clamp to get a new section of hair, twist it, open close, double twist, slide down. This next one, I do, um, I don't make my second, my last, my double twist, and I'm, you can see how much springier the hair is on the end. And what just means is, is, is when I, it's so bouncy and springy that it kind of sticks out in your style. You can see right there. So I'm just going to re-grab that, do an extra twist, pull it down, and you can see how that elongates. And now that's not going to boing out from my hair. So this top piece, what you don't want to do on the top is split it right down the center to curl. Because wherever your parts are, the hair has a tendency to want to separate. And if we split that right in half, it's going to get what we like to call a butt part. Um, so I'm going to split this into three sections to make sure I can avoid having a, a section right down the center of the back of that head. Okay, so I am pulling the hair up, wrapping it around, making sure that I keep the hair pulling out from the head so the hair doesn't come off my curling iron, a double twist, and then I pull down so that the ends come out of the curling iron. Two more sections here. I'm going to get that first one rolled around the curling iron, the curling iron's underneath the hair, hair's over the top, twist, clamp, 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 twist, twist, pull the hair down so the end slides out of the curling iron. And this is our last one. Again, curling iron's under the hair, keeping it over-directed and close to the scalp, and then the double twist, one more time, double twist, and you can see how I slide that curling iron down so the end pulls out. And so now I need to make sure that the hair cools down completely before I mess with it because the curls set as the hair cools down. If I comb through that hair when it's still hot, I can pull the curls out. Um, so don't mess with your curls as you're curling your hair. Just let them, let them cool 
And then when it's all done, you can either brush through it like I am with this detangling brush, or you can just use your fingers to rake through it. It really doesn't matter. You can see the difference on those two curls in the front, and you can see all that beautiful volume in the back. She's so happy and excited with that voluminous back of the head. Um, she's feeling pretty stinking cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.